What's going on guys, Zeddy of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how you can make widgets on iOS 14 using the Widgetsmith app. Before we get into this, I want to recommend everybody check out this free iPhone sweepstakes we've got going on with you sweeps. Now, we partnered up with these guys for the last couple of years. It's just a quick email submit if you guys want to check it out. So I'll have a link in both the description and comments if you want to do that. And so Widgetsmith is an awesome app for creating your own custom looking widgets. The thing has a ridiculous amount of reviews on it and it installs. You can see right there, pretty crazy stuff. So it's free to install, it takes a couple of seconds. Then when you open it up, you're gonna see some of these different options. So they have three different widget sizes. You've got the small, the medium, and the large. You can see I actually did like a, a custom one already in the medium. Um, and then, you know, when you want to create your own, you would just click create, you know, for whatever size you would tap on it. Then you're going to see these different options. So Widgetsmith is going to allow you to pull up, you know, photos. If you want to do like a custom photo widget, uh, you know, in your gallery on your iPhone, uh, you know, there's some other things in here you can do as well. I think I'm just going to go with a photo. So we'll start with a photo on here. I do want to let you know, though, you can actually do, uh, you know, custom calendar time widgets on here as well if you want to check that out and uh but let's uh let's go with a photo here let me just kind of browse through this let me go back here all right yeah i was just kind of going through some of the options on here but i'm definitely going to do the photo okay so we're going to do a photo i'm going to pull one up here all right, so got some cat pictures in there. Not gonna use those. Uh, let me scroll down here. I've got a cool uh, like crypto wallpaper, um, you know, icon. So I'm gonna use this. Let's uh, you know add this. I'm gonna add it. We're gonna add it as a large option. All right, now I'm gonna go to Widget Smith here. All right, I'm gonna choose the large option. Okay, so when you do that, you have to do one more step, otherwise it's not going to come up. Since there's, uh, you know, more than one <coughs> theme that's going to come up for your widgets in the large option, you got to switch it over. And there you can see I've got that cool looking uh, freaking crypto widget I just created right there. Really cool, right? Um, <coughs> you can create as many widgets as you want with Widgetsmith. That was just one option. Uh, if you want to use some of the custom themes that they have in here, you can do that too. I'll show you one of the medium ones that I created. That's, uh, you know, a custom looking one right there. And then if you want to customize even more, you just tap on it. Uh, you can go back into the edit feature on here. I think I'm going to switch it up to like green or something. Yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with like a green theme. All right, switch up that background color. I'll go with that. All right, pretty cool stuff, right? Okay, so there are a lot of things you can do within Widgetsmith. You know, I was kind of just scratching the surface here, but I wanted to show you could use some of their custom themes. You can add your own photos. You can see that, you know, crypto widget I just made right there is pretty freaking sweet, right? Um, I do want to, you know, wrap things up here with, uh, you know, some more COD Mobile gameplay. So I'm going to put in a quick match. If you guys could smash a like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and let's get into some of this gameplay. Enemy contact. Changing mag. Target's inside! Oh, 